everyone, welcome back. I am beside myself with excitement right now. We've just landed at the Northern Lights village in Lapland. We got a plane this morning from Heathrow to Helsinki and then Helsinki to Kitila, I think it's called. And we've just arrived now at the resort and we're staying in one of these dreamy igloo style cabins. So right here behind is all of the windows. So when we actually turn off the lights, all you can see is just the forest just you can just see a forest here and we're hoping we might be able to see the northern lights above i mean that's the whole idea of obviously having this window right above the bed i have always Ooh, northern lights is like is getting it? close as well oh so my gosh i've been kind northern of lights tracker. i've been tracking it so it's just above us at the minute so literally it should drop and we should see it oh my gosh sometime can you imagine? soon we've actually tried to do this like twice now and we've failed twice watching it the weather's just in Iceland. Not been in our, not been in our favour. So hopefully tonight we can get this winning shot. Oh, it's always been my dream, my absolute dream top destination has always been to come to Lapland and stay in one of these little resorts and to hopefully see the Northern Lights. We're here with Lumine. A lot of you guys, if you've been following my vlogs, you remember that Lumine brought me to Finland a couple of years ago and that was also incredible. But that was in summer, so it's a completely different environment. Now there is thick, metre tall snow everywhere. It's amazing. It's freezing cold outside. It is dreamy, like so magical. It feels like Christmas again. So I'm so thankful to be here again with Lumine. Just for complete transparency as always. I feel like that's like my, my slogan now. Um, this video is very kindly a paid for integrated advertorial with Lumine. Just so I can bring you along to this whole trip, I can show you their brand new products that they're bringing out. As you guys know, I am a huge fan of this brand. You know that so well because I use their products so much and I'm constantly raving. In fact, there's some here. I'm constantly raving about their concealer. It's like my top use product. But they have so many wonderful products. In fact, when we just came into the room just then, they've laid out this little display for us with some of my favourites. This is one of my favourite palettes. And inside of here is the loveliest highlight, really light um, pinky blush and a slightly warmer tone blush. And I love to add this onto my lips. It is beautiful. Gorgeous, super glowy highlight. Such a beautiful palette. Um, these are a couple of the different kind of foundations, mascara. This is one of the best brow products I've ever used. I actually have never seen this before. This is new to me. This looks like a lip balm. Oh, it's a lipstick. How did I not know about this? This must be new, surely. Or else I am out of the loop with this one. Also, the watercolour bronzer and the watercolour blush are some of my absolute favourite um, products for blush and contour. Again, I've talked about those so, so much. I worked on a campaign with Lumine last September, I think, all about this. The Instant Glow Fresh Skin Tint. And it's like a really lightweight, like a tinted moisturiser really, but slightly more coverage. I just feel so grateful. I've got Alex here with me. We've got really fantastic, the Lumine ladies have organised the most fantastic trip for us. I'm not going to tell you what it is, I just want you to kind of watch the vlog and enjoy it. But I'm just feeling so, so grateful to be here again and working with this brand that I absolutely love. Alex is already getting excited about the potential <laughs> lights outside. Um, we're also here with Este and Amelia and they're just two girls that I love to bit. So I'm just so excited to be here. And we've also been given a few little treats. We've got, oh, you've got pajamas too. Oh, yeah. How lovely. That's so great. They've left a little sleep mask. They've got Alex, some pajamas. These beautiful, they, I wonder if these are little gifts. I think they must be little, um, little blanket gifts. I have some pajamas over there. And um, they have so kindly gifted me this beautiful hunter jacket. Look at this with this like shearling. And it, it's obviously got, um, yeah, sure. I think that's what she said, it's vegan down inside of it. Oh, is it? Wow, I so. fantastic. Um, I also really want to get onto these. They look delicious. I've already opened a beer. Have you really? You've already opened a beer, <laughs> of course you have. So when, um, we can probably put the fire on later and just have all the lights off and look up at hopefully the northern lights. Let's keep our fingers crossed for this. Oh, do you know what? I haven't even looked in the bathroom yet. Is where's the light? Oh, more Lumine products. 
They've got the Lumine, Lumine shower gel, and they've got some of the Harmonia range, one of the most incredible lip balms. It is wonderful. Lumine towels, and we have some more products here. We've got the kind of micellar waters, the Arctic waters, overnight cream, hydration cream, cleansing balm. I'm so, so happy. I can't wait just to get stuck into everything. Also, I'm wearing my new, oh, wow, this is bright. I'm wearing my new Gerard Durrell navy blue teddy coat. And it's so warm. Although, it, and you need to put like a mask on around here because walking just up to our room before, my nose felt like it was about to fall off. <laughs> Oh, 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 I forgot to show you. I happened to walk past Chanel on the way through the airport and I did stop and get myself a little treat. This purchase was entirely inspired by Lydia. The other week I saw her and she just bought herself a gorgeous Chanel brooch and I was like, this is amazing, I need one, why have I never bought myself a brooch? And I was gonna look for one in, in Dior, but then I just thought, for me, brooches are kind of a bit of a Chanel thing, so I thought, why not get myself a Chanel one? So I treated myself, and I thought it was just so beautiful. Look how pretty it is with the pearls. So thank you very much, Lydia, for the inspiration and for now adorning all of my outfits. Look how pretty that is. Just to add to coats or any of my blazer collection. It's like a little extra little adornment. And I'm gonna get loads of use out of this. And I don't own any other brooches, so this is a little special treat. Off we go for some dinner. Okay, we're heading out because apparently the Northern Lights can be seen over here somewhere. We saw them a little tiny bit earlier, really faint. Apparently they're coming out a little bit more, so we're heading out into the freezing cold right now to have a look at them. Oh my gosh, you can kind of see it there. How you can see it better on the phone. You can't really see it on the camera yeah, though. But look on the phone. Can you see it on the phone? Oh my gosh, look you can't. How much better oh that is. It's weird. Wow. Oh guys, I just don't think I'm going to be able to show you this properly, but you can kind of see it better on the camera. You can see it on the camera here. You can just see the strip across the sky that it's just not picking up very well on on the vlog, but it is just really amazing i wish i could show you hopefully it'll come out even brighter in a bit and i can properly show you the lights lighting up oh my god you can actually see it you can actually see it wow. oh my gosh wow that's insane oh it's all the way across the sky but then it's moving wow holy <laughs> Good morning guys. So last night was absolutely magical. Oh, hello, Alex in his little tights. There's always a camera on in this house. <laughs> um, in this house. <laughs> Honestly, that bed was the coziest, comfiest bed. I did not want to wake up. Although I, I got thinking about it before, it's probably because it was like 6 a.m. that we woke up technically. It was eight here, it was 6 a.m. I woke up as soon as the, the sun came up. There's no blinds, is there? Oh, I know, but it's so nice. No, it's amazing. It was so cozy and comfortable in this bed. I've just, Killed my hair with some straighteners and now I'm gonna put on my my face and so today there's a few there's a few products I just want to try out and play around with and in fact the majority of these makeup products I've all, I've used before and I love them but this I haven't used yet and it's the Lumine Arctic Hydro Care Moisture and Relief rich day cream my skin this morning when i woke up was so tight again i think the issues i've been having with my skin is that is the weather completely i've just been really struggling and every every day i keep waking up and my skin is just like really super tight and sore which is really weird because it never usually is so i think i just need extra moisture this feels gorgeous wow there's no smell to it you'd be happy to know Oh, it's lovely. It's creamy, but it's got a, a viscous feeling to it, a little bit like a gel. So it's really kind of lightweight, but it feels really smoothing. Really hydrating, actually. That feels beautiful. I just want to put like 50 layers of moisturiser on today, just to help my skin out a bit. I can feel bits coming off in my hands where it's shedding from the cold. So, that was beautiful. That feels amazing. I'll keep using that for the rest of this trip and see how I go, and then obviously after that, I'm just gonna get a few products on now. I'm gonna use 
the Instant Glow Fresh Skin Tint. You may remember that I worked on a project with Lumine for this product uh, last September actually. It's a really very lightweight, more of a tinted moisturiser feel on the skin. It's very hydrating and glowy. Just like this. Just, just, you know I'm just going to use my hand. I just want a little just extra colour in coverage. You can see it's really lovely. It's almost like putting on a moisturiser this. It's really lightweight. The formula's just wonderful. It feels like you're literally putting on a wonderful moisturiser. It just goes around the skin in that way. But hopefully you can kind of see that glow in there. I have so much moisturiser on. I'm really just trying to layer up and add a barrier to my skin for today because we're going to be out and about in the cold. And we're doing something this morning. We're doing an activity that has been my absolute ultimate dream for years now to do this. In fact, this was... No, I'll tell you later, actually, I'll tell you later. <laughs> um, I'll tell you later, because I haven't even told Alex this. Anyway, that was um, my glowy skin base, which looks beautiful and just, like, really more, like, refreshing on the skin. Then, of course, my holy grail concealer, the Luminate Concealer and Medium. It's got this lovely little spongy, spongy top, but I just, I just always go straight on all over and I'll either use a sponge or just a, like a little brush to disperse it and as you know most days I'll use this mostly concentrated here in these areas and then I'll disperse it out across the face very lightly almost like it's some sort of like foundation vibe but the coverage is just so gorgeous and I know a lot of you have tried this since I talk about it every single time I do a makeup tutorial so I hope you're all loving yours as well. In fact, I'd love to know if, you, if you've if you bought anything from Lumine on my recommendations, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it below in the comments. Seeing as this video is kind of like the Lumine video, it'd be nice to get a bit of a lovely positive discussion down below about your favourite products and what you'd recommend to others and things. That would be such a lovely like community thing to do. I know you guys love that. Um, so, I just, I just really need a sponge right now. Tap it around, make it really perfect. The skin looks so lovely and like refreshed now. Look how lovely and glowy that looks now on my skin. Doesn't it? Don't you think? Very glowy. It looks glowy and like really refreshed and hydrated. Glowy and you don't know it. Glowy and you don't know it. Froey. <laughs> right, so for other, just a couple of other products that I'm going to use. The watercolour bronzer is just the dream. The way I like to use it is just to use a pipette onto the back of my hand. It's a really wonderful liquid bronzer. It works a dream. I'm just going to take my usual sort of contour brush, style of brush, dip straight in. This is such a lovely kind of warming, bronzing, contouring shade. And the fact it's a liquid just means it sinks in so nicely. No powders, it just looks straight away super hydrated. That's why I love liquid products so much. I like my skin just to look glowy and like it's really hydrated. We got a really, really good picture last night, by the way, under the Northern Lights, because we went out. Oh yeah, you saw it when we went out and I showed you the amazing lights. It actually picked up on the camera, that was amazing. We got a really good picture, didn't we? We did. We were freezing, absolutely frozen solid. I could barely feel my hands. Look at that. That is insane. A couple of tricks with a torch and yeah. a lot of waiting around. Very, sl very slow shutter speed. I think I did well there standing for that at like good time. I'm so happy. The dream picture with the actual Northern Lights. I mean, that is so rare. It's unbelievably rare. I can't oh. believe it. I'm just going to go along the edges with this just to blend it in a little bit. But otherwise, that's just looking so healthy like this is why i love this brand it's about healthy skin healthy um rejuvenated skin and that's what that's the kind of makeup i love oh, i'm getting warm in there now are you Woo. oh yeah because you've got like 15 layers and that's oh, no, two layers on both <laughs> i'm gonna go into this palette we were talking about this over dinner last night it is such such a dreamy palette from this palette again just using fingers works a dream this is the nicest, like, glowy, champagne -y glow. I am obsessed. 
absolutely obsessed with products like this. I feel like at the moment a lot of people are moving away from highlighter. We're all getting a little bit bored of like powdery over the top sunbeam highlighters. Do you think that'll be one of those things they look back at in like 20 years and be like... And we're all like, whoa, we were know, blowing. it's just so extreme. Like you look at like the 80s and people look back at the 80s and they're like, whoa, like the makeup was so like kind of... Potentially, far yeah. out. I think people will continue wearing highlights. Oh, no, for sure. Just it might not be such a huge thing as it was. Um, so I know I step back from wearing like powdery highlights as much, but the one thing I do always love is a cream glowy product like this on the skin. You can add it like to your highest points like over your brow bone, up your nose, on your lips, pretend mainly here around this area just to really add that highlighted glowy that lip from within feel like that's the kind of highlighter I really like it just looks like it's coming from within the skin I'm obsessed with products like this these are my favorite kind of products beautiful just like the just like lit from within glow oh stunning so stunning and then I'm gonna add oh, in fact I'm gonna use a little luminae brush I'm gonna use this pink here again with the cream and this colour it's just like hello fresh face <laughs> my arse used to like do whenever I use this palette was take a bit of this onto my lips as well because that is such a pretty look how lovely a house that looks it looks beautiful I'm just going to quickly line my lips because I can't see a liner here so I'm just going to use my usual um, Victoria Beckham 02 okay I want to try out <clears throat> I want to try out this invisible illumination lipstick which I have never seen before in 03 oh, it's a lip balm I've never seen this before pretty pink colour I like that colour feels really like old school pink like it's got like um, a pearlescent like illumination to it it's really nice I really like that. Put a tiny touch of my own Bare Minerals Peony on top and that'll be a lovely face. Just a little tiny dab. Okay, I've just filled in a little bit of my brows and then I'm just going to put on a bit of the brow um, eyebrow shaping wax, which again is amazing and they ran out of this for ages, it went out of stock. I was like, no, please come back. It's just got a lot of hold and a really good colour for my eyebrows. Always a bit of this over the hairs. I've used a lot of these kind of things, and sometimes some of them are either too dark, I don't put enough product on, or put too much product on, and it's like wow. Whereas these just help fill a little bit and add a little more intensity, which I really like. Um, I am just going to go over with a tiny bit more soap brows for that extreme brows that you know I love. But now I've got my colour and everything else in place. This is just one last final little step. But extra, extra volume and length. And it's always good to press. And it remains that excess as well. It presses them down then onto the skin. The only thing I have to do now is my eyes. And I was thinking of just going back in with the watercolour bronzer. And just patting a little bit of this into eye sockets it's very very subtle but it looks really pretty I am looking unbelievably bougie right now but I'm ready to go I've got on my hunter jacket and I love this like cozy lining thing on the outside I've got my Fendi scarf I've not put it on properly yet so I've just draped it um, <laughs> I'm going for my little Louis bag for a little pop of colour and my Chanel Sunny so I can actually see but I never got to show you the finished makeup look how glowy and lovely that looks <laughs> right on with today's adventures <laughs>
How amazing was that? Unreal. Am I Wasn't still it? frozen? Am I, yeah, yes. Am I melting Your moustache yet? <laughs> is completely frozen. So, um, yeah, I didn't get to say before what we were doing. We've just been on a husky ride around, I don't even know where, the most beautiful Finnish countryside. The dogs are just so lovely. Hello, cutie. Hi, cutie. Hi. Hello. They were so excited to get going. They were so eager. Look how beautiful this one is. Hi. Hello. Oh. Oh my gosh, the most gorgeous dog. Hi, cutie. Hi. Hello. <laughs> oh, they're beautiful. Look at them. These two are so pretty. Oh, so pretty. Hi, cuties. Hi. Hello. Oh, we get so jealous. Oh. Beautiful. They're all just now in a little chill. Sitting down, they're so lovely. They're so excited about the run. Oh wow, what an amazing experience that was. So what I was saying earlier is that, you know when obviously like women talk about their dream engagement moment. Is this it? Did I screw it up? No! <laughs> no, our engagement was just perfect. But if someone had said to me before we got engaged, where would you want to get engaged? I always said to people, I want to be on a, um, on a sled, a husky ridden sled. Was it better than you thought? Through it was Finland. Be? What this? Yeah. No, it was amazing. It was amazing. This was better than like I knew it was going to be great, but I thought I thought this was so good. Beautiful experience. Yeah. And they're just what's so nice is that they're so excited to go. Yeah. You like know? the woman said, they're not bothered about us. They just want to run. <laughs> they just want to run, and you could tell. Like we stopped at one point to wait for you guys to catch us up, and. Um, and they're all just kind of like, come on, yeah. we want to keep Do you going. See how they, can, how they can command them as yeah, well. Yeah, left or right, that's that's amazing. And they just like speed up as well. Yeah. Incredible. Unbelievable. Just the bucket best. Bucket list moment done there. Bucket list moment. Two bucket list moments yeah. in two days. 64 gig in, in half an hour. Yeah. So it's on my yeah. card. <laughs> worth it. Totally worth yeah. it. Say hi. Say hi. We've just super quickly come back. I have changed very, very fast into my little Holland Cooper hat. And this coat is so nice and snug. Um, oh, in fact, new Han Cooper jodper leggings too. Oh, and my new Sorel. Everyone's outside waiting for Quickly, quickly, show you. Da -da 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 -da. Right, we're off. We're off now for lunch. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Where are we? Gosh, this is gorgeous. This restaurant. <laughs> private event in this restaurant for us. Oh, we got a little salad. <laughs> we are surrounded by the new products, the Arctic products. I'll show you them in a little more detail. I was putting this on this morning. This nice little Lumine family meal. <laughs> How beautiful this is. Stunning. So ladies at Lumine have booked out the sauna for us for a few hours. So I'm gonna head up down there and have a little go in the sauna. Seeing as it's a really, it's massively popular in Finland, the whole sauna experience. And uh, I remember last time I came, I tried the sauna. I'm not usually a sauna kind of gal, but <laughs> I thought I'd get into the traditional vibes, give this a go. So I'm gonna uh, have a little bit of time in the sauna. I think the sun's just going down and it's absolutely beautiful out right now. It is just stunning. So I'm looking forward to this actually. Gorgeous everything is. Oh, beautiful. My new Sorel boots on, my new Sweaty Betty thermals. Okay, I think it's number two over here. Oh, excited. There's no one else in here. Got this whole sauna to myself. How nice. Oh God, I'm a bit scared about how hot it is going to be in here. <sighs> sauna sometimes scares me a little bit because it's so hot and sometimes I feel like I can't breathe properly. And it's got to get into your mind that it's just hot air. <laughs> it's still oxygen. Actually, really wonderful. I feel like all my bones are not are like thawing out now. By the way, lovely new swimsuit from Stay Wild Swim, which is a sustainable swimwear brand, and they have uh, very kindly 
I'm not sure actually if Lumine Girls have got us these as gifts, but I think it's so nice with the zip, zip front. Steamy windows in here, isn't it? Okay. Uh, I had a sauna buddy yesterday, came and, and greeted me. See hey Esther. Hello. Hi Esther. And now we're in the hot tub. I didn't realise it was a hot tub until Esther said. So now we're at, we're just having a little chill and heat, I suppose, <laughs> in the um, hot tub. It's really, really nice. All this like snowiness behind me. It is honestly freezing. But this is really, really lovely. We are all ready now for the evening. I have just put on my coat again with my little little Chanel brooch. I love this. Makes it look so much more like extra. And then underneath, I've got this kind of hidden in here, my big Strathbury kind of cape scarf underneath this. And then underneath that, I've got my Kate top and my old favourites, and my absolute favourites always, my Stella McCartney faux leather trousers. So it's a bit more of a kind of evening outfit. Obviously when I get to the restaurant, I'm gonna take off the coat and just sort of wear the scarf around my shoulders, but I just really love this scarf. Um, and I've just literally just topped up my makeup and it's just a little touch more um, Lumine concealer and a little bit of, of eyeliner. And that's kind of it. So off we go. We're all set down now, ready for yeah, some so food. I'm resisted like towards mm -hmm. the, like, the uh, naughtier yeah, food so choices. I'm ready yeah. for this yeah. delicious. Yeah. This is such a lovely little restaurant. We have a little dinner date. I've got a cranberry gin. So I am very, very happy. Back from that delicious dinner. We've had such a lovely night. So many just hilarious conversations always when you're around Amelia and Esty. So we've had such a good time. Um, Alex has now nipped out. He's gone looking at... Um, He's gone looking for the Northern Lights again. I'll be honest, it was so cold last night um, and it was just amazing seeing them and we got a good like 15 minutes worth of watching them dance across the sky. I was like, look, I'm just gonna watch it from my nice warm little hut tonight because it was just unbelievably cold last night. But he's gone doing it again because he just loves taking pictures of them. Um, in fact, I've just posted I've just posted my picture actually of me with the Northern Lights up above me from last night. I've been excited to post it all day. And the comments are amazing, so thank you so much if you've commented. But it was just amazing the way that the camera picks up the light like that. It's just beautiful. So it was just really magical. Anyway, I'm gonna start taking off my makeup and everything, and I realise that I haven't talked to you just a little bit. I mean, I am on the Lumine trip. I just realised I haven't really talked to you about what exactly the new range is about, why it's so special, why Lumine is so amazing. I mean, a lot of you guys will know, since the last trip that I went on, the reason I love Lumine so much is 100% vegan, they're cruelty-free, and they contain this pure Arctic spring water. You're probably very aware that places like Finland, the kind of Nordic regions, just have this incredible, like, super free fresh beautiful air and they also have amazing water supply like it's just so fresh I mean it tastes delicious just drinking out of the tap um, but anyway they have this pure arctic spring water which you can find in all the Lumine products and the pH of that water is, is super similar to the skin so it just means that when you're putting on these products you're not putting on anything that your skin's going to react really crazily to because it's very similar pH to it so they put that beautiful arctic spring water into all the products which makes them rather special so yeah if, if I also haven't said Luminate is a Finnish brand that's why we're here in Finland it's nice for you to come to the country of where the products are actually you know they've been created and where they've been made and with all of the environment and the people that live there in mind so this new range, this Arctic Hydrocare range, has been kind of formulated for more kind of extreme conditions from hot to super cold. People in Finland love saunas, so they go from super hot temperatures to super, super cold temperatures. And they've done some tests, they were telling us today, it was really interesting actually over dinner, over lunch, they're telling us that they did loads of tests where different customers and clients tried the product in different extreme conditions and the results apparently were just fantastic. I've been putting this on my face the past few days, especially where I've been super dry around here and my face now feels so, so much better. It's just been so dry from the cold and it's really, really helped with the hydration again. 
And what you'll also find in Luminaire products are ingredients that you don't really find any other brands using. I've never ever heard of cloudberries before, that's for sure, or bilberries. But it's because in Finland and most of the Nordic regions you'll find that a lot of very unique plants grow because of the difference in the light. So in the summer you practically get like 23 hours of sunlight, you know, so these super like rare and nutrient rich plants grow and that's what Luminae do is that they take these beautiful incredible ingredient rich plants um, and fruits and put them into their products. So that's why they just have so many wonderful nutrients and that you don't really find in any of the brands so it just makes them really special. But anyway, I keep going off track here. Going back to the new Arctic Hydrocare range, um, this also contains canola oil, oat oil and bilberry oil, I think. But all of those are really rich in vitamin E. There's a few other ingredients packed into there which all work together in order to help restore the water balance in the skin which obviously helps with really intense rehydration and just keeping that balance in the skin which is why these work so well for like that really intense and lasting rehydration of the skin so at the moment these are really perfect for me there's a couple of things in the range there is the rich day cream which i've been using like i said it's like a very kind of bouncy creamy cream texture so it almost feels it almost feels a bit like a cream gel, it just feels wonderful on the skin. There's also the Rich Oleo Serum as well to go with it, so they're obviously like brother and sister, put one on, put the serum on first and your moisturiser at the top. But there is also the Rich Eye Cream as well, which is lovely and soothing. There is the Hand Cream to go with it as well, this is a Rich Hand Cream. And there is also a Lip Balm, however. I was taking pictures earlier of these products outside in the snow and we dropped the lip balm into the snow and because the snow was about three, four feet deep, it just went down and we couldn't find it. So I currently don't have that right here to show you. But it's just same packaging, just a cute little lip balm. I think I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna get myself ready for bed. Oh, let me just show you this quickly before I forget. We were given these in the room, I think, I mean Lumine, honestly, the ladies at Lumine have really treated us on this trip. They have made it so special, like little, leaving little cute sweets and chocolates in the room and just doing little extra things. But they also gave us these little, oh hello, oh hello, oh hello flasks. But they're just, they're just like hot flasks and they've got a little turny thing and you can drink from them. Alex has literally just taken one out with his tea, he's so sweet. <laughs> a little hot tea in it for um, going outside. But yeah, they, they let us, they've sent these as little gifts, these little hot flasks. Um, and they left a note with it that said, if you guys want one of these as well, there, there is a code in the fro 10, which gets you 10% off. I literally just saw it then and was like, that's so sweet. I thought I would show you and it was just here, so. Aren't they lovely? And they're a really lovely texture, but great if you are um, getting into your sustainability and want to try that. In fact, talking about sustainability, it's also amazing to hear the things that Lumine do for sustainability. And what I think is really sweet is that over here in Finland, a lot of things are just done as standard. Just a lot of care is taken for the environment because this place is just so magical. People over here really care about the environment and they're very eco-conscious and so they do things without even thinking about it. Whereas if a London brand was to do it, they would shout about it over and over just to show they were sustainable, you know, it's slightly different. But Luminae do so much, mainly a lot of the ingredients they use is kind of, it's byproduct of other industries like food industries, um, and things like that and water industries and whatnot and they take anything that those companies obviously can't use and then use them as ingredients for their products so it's just a really lovely circular economy whereby you can take something that would naturally be waste for another company that is actually like magic beans for you and then put it into your products which means there's no waste from another industry which is actually so wonderful and a lot of that happens with these products like that. the oat the cast off of the oats from an oat company go into these and um, bilberry the water the bilberry water they put in here is taken from bilberries that have been washed and yeah wonderful just thought I mention it because I think it's just really commendable that companies do things like that and it's just a really lovely circular economy. I'm just going to take off my makeup now and we've been left a couple of luminate so that I've got the micellar water. I think I'll probably use it, although that's biphase. I don't have to use biphase as much. Yeah, I'll just use this one because I have my LVL and biphase, the oil and water, micellar waters break down the LVL a bit quick. I'm going to use my little face halo, my favourite. 
take this off. I've actually got about three layers of makeup on right now because coming back, putting on more makeup, coming back, putting on more makeup, and now there's about three layers on there. Well, my camera is about to die, so I'll just say bye. I'm just gonna take off my makeup and get in bed, and if I do see the Northern Lights, I'll, I'll show you those as and when. loud good morning guys it's our um it's our last full day here in finland and we have a few lovely things planned however it's snowing and i don't know how that's going to affect said plans but it's snowing we woke up to this completely covered in snow this morning which was pretty magical we're just gonna go meet everyone now for breakfast and i think we have some sort of floating ice activity later which should be exciting but yeah i hope the snow doesn't affect the plans but it does look very beautiful outside finish it with a little quick breakfast and the most delicious chocolate chip cookie alex you really need to try one of those chocolate chip cookies however i have been reunited with one of the um how do you get a lip balms which i'm really excited about seeing as alex whoa about to say I dropped it in the snow. What evidence have you got? Alex about dropped that? it in the snow. You dropped it in the snow. My yeah. evidence is that I know I, I handed it, it to you. Of what you gave me. You're a lion McGrath. You're a McGrath. <laughs> anyway, we're about to go ice floating. Apparently we get in big suits and we float in the ice. But there's no coldness and there's I mean it is snowing so we're gonna get snow all over our faces but it's gonna be really good fun I mean when else can you go ice floating so I'm really really looking forward to this the coolest experience we're just leaving this beautiful little place quickly now and i was like i haven't even vlogged it <laughs> beautiful here we've just done as uh, as you've seen the coolest experience in um these suits that are made they were made for like emergencies on boats for people obviously if people went in the, if you went in the water and it was cold and now it's like an activity so you put on these warm suits and get into the water float <laughs> really super cool experience like definitely no way I'm passing up doing this. When else am I gonna bob around in icy cold water again? So really, really cool experience. <laughs> Honestly, this is just like the best trip. We're having so much fun. Right, now I think we're off to like a snowy village now. <laughs> Hi! Well, this is rather fancy. We've just come along to the snow, the snow village. There are lovely cool little sculptures around like this quite scary. <laughs> oh, and there's a, there's a hand breaking into the walls. It's rather chilly in here as you'd expect. <laughs> oh cool! Oh it's a church! And now after a little tour of the, of the snow village we've just come to the restaurant, the ice, uh, ice restaurant. Obviously everything's made of ice still. Little table. Set up over here. It's Lumine set up. Look, Lumine's inscribed into the yeah, ice look. Good idea. With the brand new product on top. Okay, so finished up with our activities for the day and now I have the most exciting one to look forward to. I'm having a full Lumine facial with the brand new, let me get this right, 72 hour Hydra Gel mask. So this is the best selling product from Lumine globally, but it's been reformulated to a 72 hour version. So this is going to be so, so beautiful and like intensely hydrating on the skin. So I cannot wait to try this out. It's so beautifully packaged as well. Um, and then I'm going to have just a lovely facial with lots of the products. So I cannot wait for this. We're in one of the little cabins again. And all of the products are all laid out in their different categories. So excited for this. Back from my facial, in fact I'm back from also playing in the snow with Alex, he's such a big kid. We've just been out sledging. All I have to do now is get ready for dinner, but be yeah, before I had, I had my wonderful facial. Honestly, I fell asleep the majority of it and then woke myself up snoring about three or four times and I had to be like, oh, I'm so sorry, that was embarrassing. I also just needed a bit of a nap. But the key product that she used for me is the brand new Nordic Hydra Oxygen Recovery 72 Hour Hydra gel mask. See what you think of it. 
like a really bouncy jelly texture. Oh, it is bouncy. It's bouncy, isn't it? It's really light. It's like a light jelly gel. It's nice. It's nice, isn't it? It smells really light. It's really refreshing. But also, it's the kind of thing that you can either you can either put it on. Say if you want like a really intense like 10 minutes, say if you get in the bath or if you're on a plane, I'm going to start taking this on the plane. Do you have to wash it off? No. Alright, see this is the kind of stuff that I like because yeah, I, I don't, I don't have, have a skincare off. routine because I hate washing it up and then I get spots. Uh, so I'd rather have something I can just bang on my skin. Yeah, yeah, like if, if you need like a really intense boost of moisture, you could put this on definitely like overnight, if you want this like overnight, yeah. full, like full time, that'll give you like a really massive boost of moisture bet, yeah. and this hydration. Really good for tattoos as well. Yeah, I bet it is actually. But it's lovely. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That just literally went black. Did it? Nice. Yeah, but this, um, like I said, this was like, this is Luminae's best selling global, global product. And it's just been re reformulated. So it's 72 hours. So it's even more hydrating wow. and like balancing for the skin. It's so even it's more just. It's perfect for me then, because then I don't have to put it on all the time. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. For example, like you could put it on, like say if you wanted a bath, just put it on like 20 minutes in the bath and wash it off after you get out of the bath, that's yeah. super easy. Yeah. Or if you just need some super intense moisture, whack it on overnight. But yeah, this is going to be amazing on the plane, just to have it on the entire plane ride. I often like these more jelly style ones. So yeah, this is out in John Lewis on the 16th. Yeah, so I'll leave a link down below to Luminate John Lewis and then when it comes out on the 16th you'll be able to find it then. I need to get ready now. I've just got my skin, it's just lovely and it's just feeling really lovely and moisturised. It's hard to tell in this light. If I were kind of outside you'd see a really lovely, um, it'd be super glowy in the light but it's very dull in this room right now. But um, we've just been taking some pictures outside um, for fun, my right? Instagram post of Luminaire, kind of like a makeup look and then a no makeup but a skincare look. So we've just gone taking them, haven't we? So we're going to yeah. have a look at those and get those all, all done. That was good fun. It was really good fun. They were sledging! That was really fun. bundled up all ready to go again I feel like I'm just doing makeup taking it off putting on skincare take, putting on more makeup I am hot again I'm just wearing my Strathbury I'm just wearing it kind of like a cape scarf at the moment and I've put my Gerard Durrell back on with my little brooch there's not you know before like there was a path of me. we also have um, anyone want a drink we got some we got any booze we got some what? booze, booze. <laughs> I wish. It's <laughs> <laughs> got blueberry, lingonberry, cranberry. Ah, yes. Oh, uh, nice. I think it's got a little bit of dash of cranberry. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Very last morning here before we have to leave and come back to London. I'm really gutted that we're not staying just a little bit more time. It has honestly been one of the most amazing, magical trips that we've ever taken. Um, I mean, my last trip with Luminae to Finland was one of the highlights of my whole career and this has just probably topped it. I'd probably say it's, it's, it was just very different because that was a summer trip and this was a winter trip but Finland by far is one of my favourite countries. It is just so beautiful and calm and pure and fresh and friendly lovely people. It's just got a really wonderful happy positive vibe this country and I lo just love it so much. A lot of you guys have been DMing me about how you can kind of have your own trip here. The place we're staying at is called the Northern Lights Village in Levy. We took a plane to Helsinki and then another plane which is about an hour about an hour 20 or so to Kitila. From Kitila we drove maybe 25 minutes over to here and I'm pretty sure that the Northern Lights Village pick up people from Kitila and bring you here so that's that's kind of how easy it sort of is really to come here. I would probably recommend you do like three nights maybe, maybe four nights if you want to. It's very chilled, it's the kind of place where you come with someone and you just 
enjoy like going for cold walks and saunas and you know you can go for the husky sledding and the few other activities like we did yesterday with the ice floating which was absolutely hilarious. <laughs> I had to post a picture of me in that red suit because it was just so good. We had just had the most incredible time. So yeah we're leaving this morning. We've just been taking some final little shots because the lighting is beautiful today. We've got blue skies again after that major snow day yesterday, which was just gorgeous because it made everything even more beautiful. So we've just been packing up our stuff, taking just a few more pictures before we leave because obviously um, press trips, we've had one press trip cancelled, which was going to be on Sunday, so in like two days time, we've had that cancelled. And I've got a feeling that a few other trips will obviously be cancelled for health reasons. So I'm just very wary that I'm going to need some beautiful pictures for you guys. So I'm like, let's just take a few more pictures. So I've got some, <clears throat> just in case we don't go away for a while. But anyway, I have just had the best time filming this video. <laughs> and I really hope that you've enjoyed it because it's just been a magical, magical trip. Of course, I'll leave all the details down below and links to where you can get all of the Luminae products that have just come out, all of the Arctic Hydra range. I've had loads of you messaging me actually about giving you like recommendations for which products to try and things so yeah I'm super excited for you to try a few of these Luminae products they really are just dreamy so dreamy so I hope that you enjoy them and I will see you in my next one guys Mwah! bye